Welcome back to the party. Where you been? Where have you been? You Man, you were in the bathroom a long time. Look what you've done. What did you do in the bathroom? <laughs> you stink. You stink. <laughs> when, when Kramer says, you stink. Hey, buddy. You stink. <laughs> you stink. Oh, CrimeCon. It's so much fun, but it's so much... I don't want to say it's work, because it's not work. It seems weird to say talking to people and taking pictures and saying hello and thanking them for listening. It it seems weird to say that that's work, but it is a lot of hours at the end of the day. Yeah. Regardless of how easy or fun it is, uh, it is a long, they're long days. Well, it's a lot of talking by Saturday. It felt like there was rocks in my vocal cords. And like, even now, like I, it's been almost a week and I haven't fully recovered. Well, part of that is from that club on Saturday night. You had to like yell to to speak to people. But Saturday and Friday. Yeah. Because yeah, I didn't think Friday was as loud. Yeah. Obviously. Cause it was, it was, the bar was structured a lot different. My dumbass kept on (laughs) sitting beside the speaker and trying to have conversations. And then they kept on having the macho man. They go, bow, 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 bow. and he'd be like, yeah, <laughs> Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> did you notice that? They had the macho man samples. They did? Yeah, all Friday. It was like, that's the only like DJ thing he did was like, he'd go from one, do, 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 do. And then he'd be like, oh, yeah. On boom, Friday. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so we'll just, I totally missed that. Go ahead. Let's, let's start on let's, Thursday. Yeah, though. we'll start on Thursday because Thursday get was in. the beginning. Yeah, the beginning. Travel wasn't bad, but got there. I had to wake up like super early. I, I was supposed to get to the, the airport at like four. So I did the move where you take a nap and then I woke up about midnight and then finished packing. But by the time I got to the airport, I was just exhausted and then get into Austin. The hotel was super nice. It was uh, bougie. Everybody come on calling it bougie all weekend. My room was nice. The only downside was like, I think I was on floor number 10. And people kept on saying, I'm on floor 30 something, which I don't know. Normally, like some of the high end rooms are like up higher. So I kept on thinking, like, did I get screwed? Yeah, but I think ten is a is a bonus, like because during the the event hours. So the for those that didn't go, CrimeCon people stayed at the hotel, but they were all the event itself was in the conference, and um, uh, I'm failing to find the right word here, but uh, the convention center yeah. center area of the hotel of the Fremont Hotel, and. So during the event hours, the the elevators, which were pretty fast elevators as far as speed goes, but they were, it was a lot of traffic during the event hour. So yeah. there were times, I think I was on 19, 17 or 19, something like that. But I'd get in and all of the events are on like the third, fourth and fifth floor. And I'd get in and I swear it stopped at every, yes. at every floor to get me to three or four or five which is fine for the most part, but a couple of times I was cutting it a little close on what time I had to be at something. And so, you know, you end up stopping at every floor. So I think 10 is a bit of a, a little bit of a, a benefit, but uh, yeah, it was a, it was a nice hotel. Yeah. And so I get to my room. I'm like, Oh, very nice shower. Pretty stoked about that. Uh, then pretty quickly we run into each other. We go to a, a barbecue joint across the street. I thought that was real good. Ironworks barbecue, maybe. Yeah. I was hoping to, I, yeah, was the places we went, I was hoping you, to give them a shout out, but. You, you walk up, order your food. It's uh, two guys in the back chopping shit up.